we see that white bishop on b1 controls the square and a conclusion king doesn't have any moves and in fact white has serious threats white can go queen d3 threatening queen h7 mate this of course in itself is not enough to win the game other pieces should be posi positioned well as well my bishop on g3 might not be very active at the moment but might be able to join the fight via the square e5 as we see as we saw in my game against Golubev such bishops could be extremely dangerous the knight is on a perfect position on d4 and rook on e1 is centralized the king on g1 is pretty safe so we already just by seeing what white pieces are doing we are already able to smell some motifs we saw queen d3 we saw bishop e5 and we basically can already start calculating before we do this let's take a look at black's possibilities is black attacking no he is not in fact he has a pretty solid central position but at the moment first of all he would have to repel my attack and how do i start my attack we already mentioned about the we already mentioned the move which comes into consideration queen d3 it is always nice to threaten mate especially in this case black's defense is the only one g6 and now we see that black's king side has been weakened this structure could be seen as pretty feeble if white manages to eliminate black's defenders now we see that potentially dark squares are pretty weak but in order to exploit this white needs his bishop on e5 now how do you do this and the answer is very natural you eliminate the bishop and that's how you develop the feeling for natural tactical possibilities knight f6 bishop e5 and black's answer is forced king g7 